After a week of practice where Matt Brabham had to first pass his rookie orientation, the Pertec T. Murray driver went into the two qualifying days for the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500 with the aim of making it well inside the field. After sitting 26th on the first day, he settled for 27th of the 33 starters on day two with a four-lap average speed of just over 363 kilometres per hour. We've done it. Yeah, we've, we've qualified for the, the Indy 500 and it's an incredible feeling. Uh, you know, we're uh, less than a week away from the big race and, uh, you know, to get, make history books and, and kind of get in the race and be the third, third generation racer is uh, absolutely spectacular. And all the guys at Pertec Team Murray are, are thrilled and, and I am too. The focus for the Pertec Team Murray crew now switches to developing the Indianapolis 500 race car with further practice tomorrow. That session will be the final time that cars are on the track until carb day practice on Friday. You know, we'll be out practicing, uh, getting our race set up, you know, on, on, on spot on and uh, making sure that we can run in traffic and, and pass and, and move around and, and you know, have a comfortable car for race conditions. So, you know, when we go out with everyone, there'll be big trains of cars going around. Everyone will be doing the same thing. You know, all we have left is the race to prepare for. So all the qualifying stuff's out the window now and, uh, yeah, just focusing on comfortable, comfortable cars and, uh, and racing and, and towing up behind people. The attention of the grandson of the late great Sir Jack Bravham and son of 10-time Indy 500 starter Jeff has seen many people throw their support behind the 22-year-old. The support is unreal. I've had uh, you know, so many people come up to me and, and, and say how jealous they are of our support base. You know, the other teams and the pit crews are, are definitely seeing all of our Pertec Team Murray gear floating around everywhere in the paddock and uh, it just makes it all that more special to get in the car and, and do a good job and uh, you know, have a good weekend. For car owner Brett Murray, the next week will culminate with a dream he has been wanting to achieve for many years. To be here for the hundreds, uh, it'll be the biggest show ever, it'll be the biggest one day sporting event ever. We have a car in it, we have a young Australian in it, we have lots of family and friends that are going to be with us. We've got a couple of people looking down on us, including Sir Jack, and uh, it's just going to be surreal, it's going to be fantastic. A full sold out speedway will see an attendance in the vicinity of 350,000 on race day.